hello again and happy holidays. This is Snobby Beer Reviews once again. I am Max Bang, as always. And we've got St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. A Belgian Abbey Ale. This is their seasonal release. It's released in winter, obviously. Um, and it's it's characterized by, obviously, it's got, you know, living yeast in it. And they say that you can age it for up to 15 years. Which is the same thing that the uh, Abbott 12 says, which is just an amazing beer. But I'm very excited. I can't wait to drink this, so I'm going to drink it. All right, so the appearance for the Christmas Ale from St. Bernardus. It's a murky, murky, dark, deep red color. And there's just very, very little light coming through. And what light is coming through is kind of like a red brown color. I mean, this definitely, definitely looks like a Belgian style beer that has yeast in the bottle. Hazy as hell, murky brown. Um, the head is just soft and pillowy. Looks like it's going to be hanging around for the entire time. Very, very tiny bubbles, uh, off white color. All right, so the smell for the Christmas ale. Dark fruit notes coming out of the wazoo. Belgian yeast spice. Uh, a little bit of black pepper. I mean, this is just a very, very good smelling beer. It actually kind of reminds me of the Abbott 12. Lots of raisins and plums. Uh, almost like bready notes. I mean, it's almost kind of like raisin bread. Belgian yeast comes through right at the end. I mean, this is definitely, definitely a Belgian beer. I mean, just tons of dark fruit. Tons of Belgian spice, uh, some caramel, some toffee, and some bread notes all in there. Raisins. I mean, this is just a fantastic smelling beer. As for the flavor, <clears throat> tons of dark fruits, Belgian spice, um, a little bit of toffee and caramel in there. I mean, this is just a, a big beautiful Belgian beer. <laughs> There's a bit of an astringent flavor, kind of like sucking on a tea bag. Just kind of that off-putting like bitterness that you know you kind of get from from some of these bigger beers. But it's not, it actually kind of works in this beer. Black pepper and clove come through. Uh, characteristic flavors of Belgian yeast. Overall this is a really really nice flavorful beer. All right, mouthfeel on this one. First thing I notice is just super duper high carbonation. I mean, when I opened it, it started to spit out of the top. The carbonation was pretty intense. The carbonation just makes this beer a little bit too drinkable. <laughs> I mean, that and for a big of a beer as it is, you would expect it to be kind of thick and syrupy. Um, and it kind of starts off that way. But once you swallow, it's nice and dry, and the carbonation just, like, you know, takes the drinkability up a little bit. All right, as for the score for the Christmas Ale from St. Bernardus, I'm going to go with a 3.5 out of 5. <clears throat> definitely, definitely solid beer. Um, available, you know, in winter. It's a seasonal brew. You know, I would absolutely recommend grabbing it. The reason it's not a four is because that astringent flavor, it kind of works in it, but it's not the greatest flavor. Um, and then the carbonation, you know, <clears throat> these Belgian style beers usually have a lot of really high carbonation, but this one's very, very, very high. I mean, this is like champagne or, or you know, even more carbonated than that. The reason it's not a three is because it's just awesome. I mean, it's very flavorful. It's got all that Belgian, you know, dark fruit, you know, spice, all that great stuff going for it. It's just solid, solid beer from arguably one of the best breweries in the world. Is it as good as the Abbott 12? Eh, probably not, honestly. Um, I mean, I love, love that beer, and it's available all over the place. And this is pretty much available all over the place, too, but... It's uh, it's a winter season also, you know. That wraps it up for the St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. Available now. Um, absolutely would recommend this beer. Grab a couple of them. Age some of them for a couple of years. You never know what you're going to get. 
Uh, awesome beer all around. <clears throat> Probably, like I said, not as good as the Abbott 12, but definitely, definitely worth trying. And if you haven't had the Abbott 12, you're missing out. <laughs> but you guys know what to do. Grab a beer, leave me a comment, and, uh, you know, I'll see you next time. Happy holidays. Cheers. Cheers.